Hello, my name is Jamie, and welcome to the second 15 minute speed modelling challenge. Today's subject is going to be a pirate ship. So I've got a few references here that have given me some ideas. I definitely want to include the main body of the ship and like the masts and some sails if I can. I'm also try and get like the rope ladders in. We'll see how far I can get in the time. So I've got the timer set and ready to go. And in three, two, one, let's go. Time is going. Awesome. Okay. So pirate ship. Um, 3D modeling in a nutshell. So the cube is actually probably a good start for the back of the ship. So I just want to get the um, profile in. So we've got probably um, a decent amount of like a, a middle section and then a front section as well so quite a long thing and then the back we would scale in on the x a bit and then the front i know these have got special names like the bow and the rear and i'm not too sure s x can come quite in quite far so then we've got that sort of shape it's looking about right i might add a control r and an edge loop around the middle and probably edge slide that down a little bit and then select everything go to a front view scale in the x again and bring that in quite far and that will give us the bow of the ship i guess that's looking kind of ship ish now the front end looks like and the back end actually tend to um go forwards so we'll come forwards a bit here and we'll come forwards a bit there and we'll come out a bit at the back end that's looking a bit fairly much like a ship what do we else do we need to include so the back tends to be higher Maybe, maybe that's a bit too high. It depends on the ship that you're looking at, really. Some of them tend to be more of a sloop. Okay, I think that will do for the main body of the ship. And then, so, okay, so we want a let's just add in another cube we'll bring it over here and scale it down and we want the this i think this is the bow the, there's like a piece of wood that goes all the way around the actual ship um so let's select this Oop, move that not hide it move it down to something like that Add in an edge loop here so that it can line up nicely. Another edge loop so that we can then select this face and extrude all the way along the bottom, which should be fairly rounded a little bit, maybe. Ah, oh, depends on who you're asking. Okay, so it looks like some of them have got it sort of like this. And then the bow which is just the oh come on select the right bit there we go just this bit shoots out across all the way and it sort of fills in this gap here and becomes quite thin towards the bottom and then towards the back where it comes up quite a bit it comes out again and does something like this and then I think the rudder is a piece that is a separate that comes out the bottom here something like that am I getting too precise probably for having spent the amount of time that I have on this oh dear okay so we want some um like railings so I'm thinking I will extrude this, scale it down, 
a little bit. I can scale in the X a little bit more. And then extrude down. Just a touch. And so there we've got some railings around the edge. Very basic, but it will do. Extrude up. Yep, and so we want a couple of masts. So we'll add in a cylinder. Make it nice and thin. Something like that will do. Um, oh, we've added in the into the cube object. That's fine. So it looks like there's usually a mast roughly slightly towards the middle. And there's one. I mean, it depends on the picture you're looking at, honestly. We're going to do three masts. We'll get the heights a bit higher. Probably a bit higher like that. There we go. That's okay. That will be fine. And then we'll select one of them. We'll shift D. Rotate by 90. Scale it down a bit. And that can be like the cross beam on the mast. And they've all got two or three or four depends on who you're asking so we'll do two per mast i think the bottom one should be a bit smaller and then we'll select duplicate that and then i like the look where there's an extra mast um that sort of sticks out the back of a mast Let's rotate by 90, scale it down a bit, so, yeah, some of them have those behind every mast. Now we also need like a pole, I think it's actually another mast as well, sticking out the front of the ship. There we go, we've got 8 minutes left. Nearly halfway. Cool. No specific... Um, there doesn't seem to be a specific way that this mast looks. Probably be a little bit too big. We'll scale that down. We're not that small. Something like that. She's looking alright. Now, I did want... Oh, jeez. I wanted to try and get some sails in. Let's make a sail. We'll make a plane, and we'll rotate it 90, and then we want to make it billow out and sort of, yeah, okay, so we'll make, bring it forwards in the Y, and then we'll add another one that comes forwards in the Y as well, and that is a billowing sail if I've ever I've seen one. It's not really an easy way to see. Different parts, uh, but we should scale that down. Hopefully, kind of see them like that, and they should be just something like that. Okay, and then we can scale in the X to make it fit the whole mast. Beautiful. Okay, Shift D to duplicate. Shift D to duplicate. So we got some sails on our ship. They're looking very short, these sails. So I might um, duplicate and put some more below them. And then do the same. Add in an extra mast to each of these. G and Z. Yeah, that looks a bit better. Okay. And then the sideward ones are kind of triangular things that have extra masts that go with them we've only got six minutes left um let's add in another plane uh rotate it by 90 bring it over scale it down scale it up get it into sort of position and then the shape is sort of like this probably connecting to there and then up 
boards like that. Okay. And that is as much detail as we've got time for. So we'll just add in one of these, put it there, scale it down a bit, rotate a bit more, try and get that angle correct, and then it should be looking quite good. Beautiful. Uh, so we'll select those two, shift D, scale up a bit, the mid one, shift D, maybe scale down a bit for the last one. There we go. This is a ship that definitely looks like it's ready to go. And then there's usually, coming off the front here, another one of these, although not every time, depends on who you're asking, we'll just do the one. And it's caught, sort of attached here, and then attached to some strings, and then all the way attached over here. And it's actually a triangle, so we'll delete that vertice and make a face out of these three. There we go. A beautiful ship, ready to sail. Feel like it's a bit chunky, so I'm just going to grab these bits and move them up in the Z a bit. That's all right. Now, I did have an idea for the rope ladders, so I'll try and do that now. Um, we'll rotate 90, bring it up over here, and then um, I want to, with the plane, scale it down. See if we can make one that works. And oh. so they come off sort of parts of the ship and then go all the way up to attach to the masts usually about halfway up the mast so something like that and then my thought was to select that right click subdivide and turn up the number of cuts a few times and we'll probably want to separate by selection into a separate object and do a wireframe modifier. And that's given us a nice thing of rigging. Beautiful. So we'll move that in the oh, in the Y there. Shift D, make one for there, each of these. And just these sort of extra details make the actual um, the ship models look better. Uh, come on, vertices. There we go. And getting very low on time. Cool. Now, depending on the ship, depends on where they are. Uh, I don't really have time for much more than this. So, I want to, um, everything that's not wooden, I want to move to a separate um, object. Right by selection, beautiful. So now this is all of the wooden stuff. Yep, that will do. Um, I'm going to select the whole thing here and here and here and go you. Uh, we'll do a cube projection. That should be fine. And when we go to shading, to object mode. Now I did download a oh, not that, a image texture oh, just got to clear the old throat and I put it in my folder here and I just want the diffuse for right now chuck it on the base colour I'll do control T so we want to affect the rotation, not in that direction. There we go. So 90 degrees and then scale. Um, if we go 10 in each of these, uh, we should see that we've got planks. Lovely. Now these planks, <laughs> Thanks for some reason have come this way. So let's uh, you unwrap 
project from view. There we go. Same with these ones. View and rep project from view. So at least we've got planks that are in the right spot. Now this obviously needs a different material. Create a new one. We create a tan color. 18 seconds left. A light tan. And um, for this object, yep, there we go. And then for these, we go there. So we got some really not very tan colored sails. <laughs> some, oh, there's the timer. Okay, timer. We'll just quickly finish assigning <laughs> the materials. So, what I have learned in this instance, because I don't usually do a lot of hard surface models, is, get that one there. I have learned that in order for, well, we've got lots of little planks and things happening there. Um, yeah, I would ideally separate, I think, the masts into separate uh, shaders as well. And just rotate them so they you can't even see the planks. Um, yeah, I think it would be easier to model something like a spaceship and get some decent detail in. Because, let's go back to layout and have a look at it like this. Yeah. Because that way you can sort of use extrusion techniques and inset and scaling and all that sort of stuff to quickly add detail. Rather than a bunch of separate objects that are details. I think that would be the way to go. Or another subject. So... Yeah, maybe next time I'll just do a spaceship, like, try and model something like an X-Wing, or a TIE Fighter, or any other sort of, just a generic sci-fi spaceship sort of design. And you can then add in way more detail than you can get with this. I wonder what this would look like with a subdivision surface. Not as bad as I thought it might, but it needs a lot of work to get that to be looking any good at all. Because it should be nice and smooth and rounded, but I mean, this is this would be great in a game on the N sixty four or the PlayStation one that sort of era. Um, that is really not tan color, is it? Tan is more. I mean, maybe something like that, just a slightly off white color. Yeah. Yeah, having to add in extra models and extra and make extra details and then shape them, I think that's killing the ability to do more detail on the main ship. So a spaceship, which is one thing that you can then add some details to, I think that would be... It would have a more interesting result, a more exciting result, at the very least. <laughs> um, but I'm, I'm having fun doing these speed modeling challenges. I'm going to keep doing them. Um, it sort of shows me my limitations. It shows me um, areas where, you know, it, it's sort of a good exercise. It's a good warm up sort of thing to do. That you can, and then you can say, well, what have you done today? Well, I made a pirate ship. Was it a good one? No, not at all. But that's not the point. The point is, I did some extrusions. I, I've never used the wireframe modifier for much of anything, I don't think. So being able to quickly chuck that on, probably turn that down that thickness a bit. Make it look a bit more ropey. Yeah, that's a bit better. What was that? 0 0.005. And that was just a thought I had had whilst I was looking at the references. How would I do that fairly quickly and easily? A wireframe modifier. That's all you need. Um, it's really, really janky. And it's sort of a... I guess it's a good way to quickly prototype stuff. 
the speed modeling sort of way of doing things and being like, no, I can make a pirate ship in a few minutes. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Like if you're enjoying these videos, subscribe to see more from my channel. Every little click really does help. Comment me your honest opinion on this model, just how terrible it is, and any ideas that you might have for a subject for which I could do a speed modeling challenge on. There's links to stuff in the description, and until next time, I will see you later. Goodbye!